Hello and welcome to A Day Typical Life. Today we are headed to the Home and Garden Show at Cal Expo and I thought I would bring you along and see how we roll. Before we head to Cal Expo for the Home and Garden Show, we are going to do Ikea. Okay, so one new thing I haven't shown anybody is um, we went to Sands Club the other day and the Kayla was freaking out because of how loud it is. And I don't know if you could hear how loud it is in here today. We found a solution. And so I would like to show you, and I'm pretty sure she's going to keep these on. This has actually been a help for me to go use the restroom in public places because it's so loud in there that she screams and closes her ears the entire time I'm in the restroom. So let me turn you around and show you our new solution. T, look at mom. There's our solution, and she loves them, and they don't bother her. Other senses, usually she gets uh, claustrophobic or something because things are touching her too much, but she likes this. So, yeah. Look at this cute boy. Do what? Yeah, you could do it all by yourself. Go on. Mommy will be right behind you. So this little boy is currently using Nikayla's old wheelchair, which is a very heavy one and doesn't move good. We'll go over wheelchairs when he gets, but his new one's coming in soon. I, I know, I just needed to help you turn. Okay? So he's getting a new one, and it's going to be green and look a lot like the one that Kayla already has. Oh, sweetie. Follow Dad, please. Keep following. I know, you want to do it. Oh, yeah, you want to squish it too? Squish, squish, squish. Okay, go follow Dad, please. Here, dab. Dab. <laughs> Floss, buddy. Floss. Can you do the floss? Yeah. <laughs> Tia. Tia, can you dab? Oh. Tia, can you dab? Dab. Tia, dab. Floss. <laughs> Tia, can you do the floss? Do the floss, Tia. Good job, honey. Alrighty, so we made it to the home show. Let's turn around so you can see. We are here. Let's go. Those are cute. Well, those cactuses are awesome. And the scorpions. That's awesome. All the peacocks are pretty too. This is the memorial to 9-11. So I can get all of it. This is at our Cal Expo in Sacramento, California. This is a beam from one of the buildings that fell. It's taller than I am. Are you going speed racer? Go speed racer, go speed racer. Let's see. They're playing hide and seek, kind of. On a spot that's not so busy. Let them run around. We're extending this vlog into Sunday for church. Right now I am sitting in our pastor's home and we're doing service. 
but because the music is so loud, you can't actually hear me talk, so I am doing this voiceover. Right now we're doing worship, and next we will have our service, and then at the end you will get to see lunchtime with the fellowship. This is the aftermath of lunch. The girls are playing. And then we're still hanging out after church. That's what we do. That's how we roll. So. Mm -hmm. Church is over. And we are going to go to Walmart because we always end up we're home now. Walmart was crazy. Otherwise, I would have filmed in it. It was, whoa. It is almost 4 o'clock and my list is long. Some of this I'm going to do after the kids go to bed. So, you might not see it, but you might. This is one week of being in the car all the time. Mostly toys, clothes, stuff like that. Tia's um, car seat cover is dry and just need to put it back on. Had a little accident earlier. And then there's some stuff in the trunk that needs to go to um, Goodwill, but that is not a trip for today. So yeah, just, this literally is all from this week. <laughs> so let's get it in. Now just needs a good vacuuming, which I'll do at the place later. That, and then I'll have the teenager do this mess back here because it's school stuff. All right. Here is my current makeup situation. This white drawer thing has a spot for my brushes, but I am really short. See, so let's see if you can see me in the mirror. See where my head is? That's about where I come to. And so makes it hard to get into that. So I bought a new thing from Ikea. I think that will work out for me now that I can see everything. It's all in these nice clear trays. And then once I organize my jewelry, which is right behind this mirror, 
I can um, move it out and have this entire space and maybe move that over there to hold in my husband's clothes that he still needs to go through. Hmm. We have the printer next to it. So I don't get a lot of room on my own dresser. So I think that's what I'm going to do is move that over there, deal with the jewelry behind it, and then have these trays going long ways right here. So awesome. <laughs> Another thing to mark off my list. Kids are in bed. Got to most of the things on my list. I did the kitchen. Started picking up some of the stuff from the garage. And now, now it's planning time. So I'm going to work on the kids' school. All right, so I got the little kids uh, done. I will get to planning this tomorrow when I am so tired. Now, though, I do want to get to my purse because... My purse is a disaster. All right. That was the last thing on my to-do list today. I did not end up doing uh, my plan for the week. Before I close this out, though, I was going through my list, and I realized that um, I think I was being a little hard on myself today. So I thought I'd kind of talk about that because... I didn't show me cleaning the house like I put on the, the list, the kitchen and blah, blah, blah. I have been either sick with morning sickness or sick with the miscarriage. So I haven't been able to do as much. And I've been really hard on myself with that. And I realized, especially today, that I can't, I can't do that. Because I got to take care of everybody and I got to take care of myself in order to take care of everybody so my house is shown is showing that mommy's been kind of out of it for a little while so I gotta get back on track and I'm going to but I'm not going to do it all in one day it's just not realistic I'm just going to do a little bit each day and we'll get it back to manageable it I have five people in this small house I love my small house but it is small and it's not easy to keep picked up especially when we're not organized that's like a big deal so if you're like me and you are feeling pretty crappy that you're not doing what you think is the best you're doing you're trying give yourself some grace I am working really hard on that that saying where would you say that to your best friend if you went over to your best friend's house and you know that they went through whatever and she's feeling poorly about her house would you be telling her how horrible she is and how would you treat her that way you, you should treat your, yourself the way you would your friend so I'm gonna give myself some grace and not beat myself up over the fact that my house my kitchen isn't scrubs perfectly clean I got dishes done and I picked up a lot of stuff in there it is not perfect right now and it's not going to be Maybe tomorrow when I spend some time in there, um, it will be. What was that? The dog. Welcome. We have a dog door in our wall right there, and I don't know what they're doing coming in and out. Anyways, so I'm going to clean up my mess, and I'm going to make my bed since I did wash my sheets today, and I'm going to bed. So. Remember to give yourself some grace, because at least you're trying. At least you haven't given up on life, so don't be beat yourself up when you don't do something perfectly. Give yourself some grace. And I will see you again soon.